Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading. Oh, cards have turned over. Um, daily tarot reading for the 24th of August, 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So we have hidden motivations. Number one, it's an intention. And we have healing light. Number eight, spirit. So there is healing here. Let's see what this is about. I am going to use the Tarot Grand Lux today. If we pull extra cards, it will be with the Tarot of Dreams. What do we have, please? Angel Spirits Guide for the Day for All Signs, 24th of August, 2022. Thank you. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, the Tower, Justice, the Four of Coins, the Two of Cups, The Three of Wands, bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So let's pull an extra card for the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Three of Wands. And with that, we have the Three of Swords. Yeah, this feels like someone's turning their back on a situation because, you know, the Three of Swords, it can be about breakups. Um, and it's generally by someone's actions. This is the fallout of someone's actions, somebody causing hurt to somebody else. In whatever aspect here, because for some of you this could, I mean, we have a relationship central here, but for some of you this could well be something that's affecting a relationship here. Um, we have the Three of Swords. This can be about heartbreak, painful truths, emotional pain being caused, third party situations. But you feel it's linked with breakups here where someone's turning their back on a situation here and manifesting something new. Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is is somebody who's really taking stock. You might have been considering this for a little bit here, really evaluating, you know, what you've put into a relationship, the value of it, whether you see this person in your long term future anymore, because this has caused you to evaluate, you know, whatever has caused you hurt, pain here. It's caused you to evaluate um, this situation. And again, there is this feeling here of, of maybe even secretly evaluating this with hidden motivations now, uh, because you're wanting to find the path of healing. You're wanting to find the path of light here, having gone through some kind of pain or hurt. So that's what I'm getting here quite strongly. For some of you, I mean, it could well be if it's about, you know, sometimes the two of cups can be to do with friendship in the sense that, you know, you might be being supported or with the two hands holding each other, it can be about being supported or helped through a difficult time as well. So this can be the energy too for some of you. So it could be other areas of life in terms of money, career, finances, where you could have been deeply hurt or disappointed. And that's just made your mind up in the sense that why do I expose myself and allow myself to be disappointed and hurt and let down? I'm going to actually take action this time and manifest something new because there is a feeling here of, do I want to stay here? Is it of value to me? Do I see progress, me climbing the ladder, me making more money, be, me being valued and recognizing for what the work that I do? Or do I actually move in a new direction now because hurt has been caused in some way? And it's almost kind of like something's happening uh, that causes somebody to, that, that propels somebody into action. We have 
uh, the four of pentacles and the nine of wands. Yeah, not giving anymore. There's a feeling here of self-preservation and self-protection because someone's done. You know, the nine of wands, I'm just tired. I keep on battling on and it's not getting any better. So there's a feeling here of what do I do now to protect myself? Could also be monetary as well. What do I do to protect my money, my security, my stability? You know, so that can be the energy here too. And again, I've kind of explained the two of cups. So this could be potentially a relationship ending. For others of you, this can be, you know, where, you, where you're being supported through a tower moment. There is a feeling here of, of let it, you know, let it all come crumbling down. Uh, a tower can be about revelation, truth, uh, an event that changes everything, an event that might just tip the scales. And, you know, there is an ending here. Uh, there is a feeling of let it all end, let it all end, let it all fall down because I'm tired of battling on. We have the three of wands and justice. Yeah, this is an energy of I know this is the right thing to do to turn my back in a situation and pursue other things. Uh, and this is that sign here with the three of wands. Something good is coming your way. So whatever you're taking steps towards, this is an energy of certainly in terms of relationship, I'm manifesting a new direction. I'm ending this, I'm manifesting something new because I'm not allowing myself to be hurt and disappointed over and over again. The, the thing is with this hurt, it teaches you something and it's meant to teach you something. You know, our best lessons are not the easiest ones. However, they do teach us in terms of what we want, what we don't want. Sometimes truths propel us into action. And that's what this is happening here. So this is an energy of somebody who is creating a better life for themselves, whether it's money, career, finances, or whether it's love, romance, relationships. It's an energy of I know it's the right thing to do to turn my back on this and move in a new direction. And there's a strong energy in terms of something good is coming your way. There's every reason to be positive here. I feel this is the energy here of communicating that, uh, the Page of Swords, communicating that. This is what I'm doing, you know. Uh, for some of you, this can also be, I mean, certainly if it's money career, this could be some news. Uh, you could have some news in terms of what's coming your way here too. Uh, but it, it feels this is the path of healing where you're taking action in order to create a better reality for yourself and just turning your back in a situation that has caused you hurt, maybe more than once, hurt, let down, disappointment, uh, and a feeling of moving in a different direction for that reason is what I'm getting the strongest. And the message is whatever you're, you're motivated to do quietly, do it. This is the energy of you might be doing something secretly in the sense that this might be steps that you're taking, keeping your cards close to your chest for a period of, of time in order to bring healing. You know, that is the energy here. Okay, let's pull you a final message. Bear with me. I'll just grab the fairy cards. What do we have for the day, please? Final message for the day. We have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. You know, sometimes this can be about truth revelation, like I said, but it can also be about revelation, all of a sudden seeing things for what they are. And that causes, you know, the tower, you know, let it all fall down. Because it, it feels for some of you, something is going to happen here. And it, that's the last thing. That's the last thing. I'm moving in a new direction. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading or at least found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.